right, guys. Um, we're going to talk about fixatives today. And I want to show you what I use. Um, I love u track and it's what I use for gesso, too. I get it in these big tubs so that I don't have to constantly be buying more. Um, but So I have my gesso, I have matte medium, and I have gloss medium, all in the Utrecht brand. It doesn't mean it's the best brand. I mean, Golden works just as well, too. I just choose to use the Utrecht. So that's what I use as far as varnishing my canvas pieces or paper. And I also, for a fixative for charcoal and um, anything chalky like pastel, is the Kamar, Krylon Kamar varnish. And it works really well when you have a few pieces of, a um, few places where there's charcoal or pastel or whatever. It works really well if you spray light, just a light coat about three times, let it dry, and then again, and then again the third time. So that is kind of how much I have to spray in order to hold that uh, charcoal on, on there. And I don't spray the whole thing because I think it gets sticky and acts weird. So I just try to spray just where the charcoal is or the pastel is. Um, it is for all kinds of, um, says right here, oil, acrylic, and watercolor. So it's for everything. So it works really good. Um, hairspray will work. Yes, I've done it in a pinch. Um, and same thing, a little bit at a time, and then layer maybe three, three times on heavily pastel areas or heavily um, areas that have heavy charcoal. So those are the products that I use, and this is the most fabulous brush that I use only for varnishing. I don't use it for paint. It's expensive. I think it was close to 50 bucks. Liquitex Freestyle, and I got it at Dick Blix. Um, it's wonderful for varnishing, first of all, because it's so wide and you can uh, go over it a lot of using a lot of space without having to go back over and over it. So I'll demonstrate, but I want to say first that I'll dip into the medium, and then I go from um, from this side to this side one swipe. That's it. And then as it has a bead here, I dip again and get grab that bead and go again. So you can see, three, four, five swipes, you're done. So I love that. I put my, I pour it into my matte medium, into, I want matte medium on this, I don't want it glossy. I pour that into a tray, it's an old meat tray or something that I've saved. It uh, fits perfectly with the brush, dip it in, don't dip it all the way, um, just kind of not even halfway. Let it run a little bit like this. And then once you start, don't go back in to it where you've already swiped. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna swipe once all the way across. Hopefully it'll only take, you might go with the other side, like so. You could go one more time quickly and then grab again. Don't go back into that one. Yeah, I'd say twice. Go over once with one side of the brush and once with the other side. Um, the matte medium is a little bit more forgiving than the gloss. The gloss medium, you really cannot go over it. It kind of, it does a weird thing when you go over it too much. This one looks like you can a little bit more. So I've got one last swipe down here. So put a little bit more and swipe. All in the same direction. It helps to look across to see if it's evenly on there, and you can kind of see the shine 
for right now. Um, even though it's matte, you can kind of see a little bit of a shine so that you can see if you've covered everything. I, you know, with the, as I did it just now, I thought to myself, probably might be good to go halfway, turn the brush, and then go halfway again and, and, and swipe over. Because as you, as you come to the end of it, it it's kind of dry, dry then. Okay, so that's what I do, and that works for me. This has to be washed really thoroughly or it will harden. So I would dip it. Usually I put it in a, a thing of water until I have a chance to really get into it and clean it with some um, Dawn dish soap. You don't want to ruin your $50 brush. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Thanks, guys.